How much chlorine does your pool need? Usually it only takes a few tablets or a cup of granules to keep your water sanitized, but it all depends on the size of your pool and what type of chlorine that you buy. So here's a quick guide on figuring out exactly how much chlorine you need to add to your pool. Let's dive in. Hey, it's Matt from Swim University. And before we get into this video, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear throughout the year. First, what are the right chlorine levels for a pool? Your free chlorine levels should be between one and three parts per million with three parts per million being ideal. Unfortunately, chlorine tends to fluctuate. Things like debris, contaminants, rain, extra swimmers in the water, and even sunlight can cause your chlorine levels to drop. Testing your water and replenishing your chlorine weekly will help keep your chlorine levels in check. Now, before we calculate exactly how much to add, you'll need to choose which type of chlorine you want to use. There are three common forms of chlorine. There's chlorine granules, tablets, and liquid chlorine. Granules, which are made of dichlorochlorine, are added directly to the water by broadcasting the granules over your pool surface. And that means you have to add it by hand each week, but it does give you more control over dosing. Now this type of chlorine is also stabilized, meaning it contains cyanuric acid or CYA. CYA helps protect your chlorine from breaking down in direct sunlight. Then there are chlorine tablets. Now these are made of trichlorochlorine and come in three inch pucks or one inch tablets. And they're added to a dispenser like a floater or an automatic chlorinator. Tablets are more hands off than granules, but dosing is a little harder to control. Things like water temperature and how often you run your pump can affect the rate at which the tablets dissolve. Like granules though, chlorine tablets contain cyanuric acid, which helps prevent your chlorine from breaking down in the sun but CYA can quickly build up in your pool when using tablets, so be sure to monitor those levels. Finally, there's liquid chlorine. Liquid chlorine is usually 10 to 12% chlorine by volume. That's about twice as potent as household bleach, but it's a lot less potent than chlorine granules or tablets. Liquid chlorine is also unstabilized, meaning it does not contain cyanuric acid. That means it'll break down in direct sunlight unless you supplement it with a chlorine stabilizer, AKA cyanuric acid. Okay, so you've got your chlorine. There's one step that you need to do before adding any chlorine to your pool, and that's to test your water and balance your pH and alkalinity. Getting these levels in range first will help your chlorine work more effectively. And knowing where your chlorine levels are will help you decide how much chlorine you need to add. By the way, if you need more help balancing other levels like alkalinity and pH, be sure to check out our other videos. Now, here's exactly how much chlorine you need to add to your pool. First, you'll need to know your pool's volume and make sure that your pump and filter are running before adding chlorine to your water. Here's a dosing chart for how much chlorine to add each week. This is assuming that your chlorine levels aren't completely out of range and you just need to add a maintenance dose. For chlorine granules, you wanna add two to three ounces for every 5,000 gallons of water. That's about four to six tablespoons of chlorine. So if you have a 20,000 gallon pool, that's about seven ounces of chlorine or a little under a cup. For three inch chlorine tablets, you wanna add one tablet for every 5,000 gallons of water. That means four tablets for a 20,000 gallon pool. If your pool holds 10,000 gallons of water or more, three inch tablets work great but they can quickly overwhelm a smaller pool. So I would opt for one inch tablets, granules, or liquid chlorine instead. Now for liquid chlorine, add a half gallon of liquid chlorine for every 5,000 gallons. That means you'll need two gallons of liquid chlorine for a 20,000 gallon pool. Now remember, this is pool grade liquid chlorine, not household bleach, which is not as strong. Now what if your chlorine levels are off the charts or what if it's at zero? If your chlorine level is too high, you need to stop adding chlorine to the water and see if the chlorine levels will drop naturally on their own. If you're not getting a chlorine reading at all and it keeps dropping to zero, well, it's time to shock your pool. Now, shocking is a concentrated dose of chlorine that can bring your levels back into range. But if your chlorine continues to remain low, even after shocking, your cyanuric acid levels may be off or you might have a chlorine demand issue. So be sure to check out our other video about how to raise free chlorine. If you need more help with pool care, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel for more tutorials. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.